I've been out of work about two and a half months. <laughs> oh, good Lord, no. I thought I was going to be slick and update my stream info, but then the music stopped playing and it kind of kind of messed it all up. This is a nice, nice relaxing little uh, menu ditty, isn't it? There we go. Yeah, the cursor kind of gave it away, didn't it? Uh, there we go. Hey, I'm back. Let's play Super Liminal. Like the opposite of subliminal, I guess. I think I need to move these armrests out a little bit. Unless they're already at max out. Feelings of self -doubt. They're not. Okay. Do you find yourself prone to yeah, I think they could be a little bit wider. Or for allowing the smallest problems to get blown completely out of proportion? At the Pierce Institute, our patent-pending Somnoscope technology provides safe and effective dream therapy while you rest in the comfort of our flagship clinic. Located right next to the secondary overflow parking lot at the University Medical Center. Somnuscult will make your dreams come true. I have played The Witness. I did not finish The Witness. I don't know if finishing The Witness is a concept that exists, but I didn't do it. Uh, I mean, one of them kinds of games. Oh, I did not. Well, I guess I signed it. There's no, I don't see any crouch, but... Who needs it? There is an ending? Yeah. I, uh... I, I really liked it. I loved the puzzle design in it. Grab. Perception is reality. <laughs> Sign without reading it, yeah. Oh, that's the epic gamer move right there. Is there any way to make it smaller? Oh, okay. I guess if you scrape it into a wall. It's almost like Ant-Man power. Terms of service accepted. Congratulations on falling asleep. Thanks. Welcome to Somnasculpt. Your progress may be monitored by qualified specialists. This orientation will adapt you to eyelids, our interactive, lucid induction dream state in which you retain full consciousness and control. Oh, there's like a blur. I love the the sound design is actually great. The, like, giant thuds of stuff really, really sells the comedy of... Like, just the innate comedy of something oversized. It's been, like, six years? Yeah. This game had, like, a... It was, like, a DigiPen project or something. I don't know if it was literally DigiPen, but it sure does feel like it. Um, based on... Because I, I remember playing, like, a... A preview of it. This is fucking me up. Oh, shit. That's why. Big, big gamer vape stream right here. Just gotta have that, that galaxy brain. Okay, yep, it's the portal thing. Huh. Hmm. Can't grab it through. We got us a dilly of a pickle, don't we? If I don't see the door closing, 
No, okay. it up oh oh okay interesting interesting mechanic if you break line of sight it appears on your side of the line of sight I guess is the idea yep. confirmed you can move freely interact uh. And listen to messages from your patient care team. Please note that I am the standard orientation protocol and that my voice has been explicitly chosen to remind you that I am not a part of your patient care team. I do not care. <laughs> That's nice. That's good to know. Yeah, big portal vibes. Um, I mean, there's. I feel like there's only so many kinds of humor that are effective in this format. And it's not like everybody's copying Portal, it's that Portal figured out the best way to do it, if that makes sense. I feel I feel like a lot of games go through the same iterative process and they arrive at the same answer that smart people already did. Try to pick it up. Oh, the, the painting? Does it actually, like, I don't think it highlights as an item that you can interact with. What's up, Steph? You getting scared? You're getting scared, aren't you? I don't think you can do it. Portal vibes aren't necessarily a bad thing, seeing as they're not making more portals. Yeah, right? Um, I think Chroma Gun was pretty heavy on that. It seems like Boneworks is, is really, really in, in that, but... Coming here. Yeah? Grabbing things. Are you now? I'm also wearing for People don't see your goodies. Oh. What? <laughs> this is the game design meeting. Somebody's like, "All right, well, like, what if you could make cheese big?" Yeah. Oops, no. I forgot to put him back in the During fridge. Eyelids, you will lose the ability to awaken suddenly due to realizing that this is a dream. Evidence. I have already informed you that this is a dream. You did not wake up. Please complete the remaining orientation activities. Yeah. Somebody's just like staring at a block of cheese and they're like, what if this was like all the cheese? I'm gonna make this a teeny, teeny, teeny little block. Boop. Oh. I can't even look down far enough to grab it. There we go. Uh oh, is there something weird and untoward in this air in this situation? Perhaps the wholesome exterior hides a sinister, uh, sinister mystery. Warning: You have deviated from the orientation pathway. At the Pierce Institute, patient safety is a keynote in our corporate priority tetrahedron. A variable degree of force can and will be authorized to ensure patient safety. Please return to the orientation pathway. Being told the dream doesn't wake you up. Yeah. You're slowly zooming it out and away from the rise with a look of realization. Like, <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Jeez. Okay, so I guess they're just giving you the tell that there's there's something weird going on. Also, if it's a dream, how can there be unintended pathways? Maybe into my own brain? Hmm. I'm starting to think we aren't dreaming. Now, come on. Please. We've got puzzles to do. We don't need that kind of destructive thinking. Implying that glass can be broken?
Hmm. Like, it doesn't have momentum. It stops right when you release it, so... Hmm. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> All environments perceived during eyelids should reflect a typical mental state. If you believe your mental state was compromised by Somnasculpt, please provide a comprehensive, rational explanation in your post-procedural survey. Completed surveys may be eligible for a gift card. Yay! <laughs> the scaling of the sound is seriously just so good. Wham! It's a powerful thud. Looks like a little shake to the screen, too. <laughs> Eyelids, yeah. It's a gift card, man. We can get like a six inch subway sandwich with this. This is what's in my brain. Oh, are there gonna be like color pattern? Pa uh oh. Blah. Uh. Okay, it's. Yeah, we're doing this. Alright. We've got non-Euclidean spaces. Okay. Hmm. It's a great concept though. Yeah, I like it. I'm curious to see exactly like how many ways they can they can repurpose the operative mechanic, the sign itself. Good call. I guess yeah, it was all it was all askew. I assumed that they were uh Oh, wait a minute. I have an idea. I like how the light still works. I like how the light that it casts scales up too. Oh, King Egg, it's okay. Uh, it's fine. I appreciate it. Here's the thing, like... Please stand by for... It, to me, it's it's not backseating if somebody's somebody doesn't know the answer. I, I, I don't think backseating is like suggesting things. To me, backseating is, I've done this before and I'm telling you exactly what to do. Or I've done this before and I have strong opinions about how it should be done. So, y'all can, y'all can suggest whatever because I actually really like the, the concept of to maximize solving the something together. Your therapeutic journey. Please do not delay in proceeding through the final doorway <laughs> as indicated. I was wondering, like, how quickly the facade would, would start to slip, and it's pretty fast. Let's see, there's gotta be something I can grab through this. I haven't seen this game before? Yeah, I mean, it came out today. Which is pretty, pretty interesting, because it's also, like, it's not the type of game I would expect people to, like, be super into or follow. So I can, I can reasonably be assured that anyone in chat unless they're a developer why did i do that that was so dumb <laughs> i know that that door doesn't go anywhere but now i got cheese so that means i can i got ramps maybe i can like can you just shove the cheese in there and knock it over more is it that much of a physics object oh all right <laughs> It is. I like how the AC, the room noise suddenly changes. Would you play F1 2020? Hmm. I, w I would give anything a shot. That said, I don't have specific interest in that. But I'll I do. I, I have always liked racing sims. Um, I, I, my, my initial assumption is that something like an F1 sim will be so far above me that I'll just... It'll take like 
years to have fun with it, but maybe that's not the case. I, am, I imagine there's got to be a mode where you can throw on enough uh, assists that it becomes an arcade racer or something like that. But is it a, is it a good game? What about F1 2019? I mean, whichever one is the good one. Ooh. Cool. Oh, it's sim-ish. Okay. It's got a pretty steep learning curve, but they do give you do-overs non-stop. It's simcade. It's actually pretty accessible. I'll check it out. I'm probably... I'll just... Maybe I'll poke at it off-stream a little bit. Let's see if I can uh, develop a, a passion. A passion for it. Do you think I'm awake now? Or am I Inception? Inception, 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 Inception. Wom, 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 wom. Oh, it has a team building mode? Hmm. Like with other players? Man, Inception came out a long time ago, huh, guys? Oof. Netflix Drive to Survive got me to watching F1. I gotta check that out, man. F1 is legitimately a really cool... Just a really cool entity... It is maybe the most futuristic sport. I feel like drone racing, but still F1 is just cooler. How to start it. It's interesting, they don't let you read these things. Like, you can't position the camera to get close enough. Maybe if you're playing in 4K and then you take a, like, a screenshot and zoom enhance all over it. Oh, you're out, Chris? Alright, thanks for, thanks for swinging by, man. There. Normal soda? Maybe not. Electric F1 is more futuristic. Yeah. Um, the 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 electric... It's so cool. It's just so cool. Like, driving electric rocket cars. It It's it's as close as we can get to, like, anti-grav. Like, F-Zero and stuff. We still have tires. Like, it's, man, as soon as there's no tires, that shit is on. Like an electric-powered float vehicle. You can, like, drive in loops and stuff. I mean, you could probably do that with F1. Just be needlessly de destructive. Or, uh, needless risks. <laughs> Boop. Shoot. There. Formula E cars sound like vibrators. I've always wondered what my... Oh, jeez. I've always wondered what... Jeez. I didn't... <laughs> that was an unpleasant sensation. Wow. That's cool. Um, I've always wondered what my electric motorcycle sounds like from the outside. To me, I like, I just hear, I just hear wind. Oh, Jesus. Oh. I've always loved effects like that. And I feel like they have such a punch when you're, when you're like virtually moving through an area. So I'm glad that they made a game devoted to that sort of optical illusion. Perspective illusions. There have been other games that have done it, really. Um, what was it? I think there was a game called Perspective, where it was like a platformer, but you would like move around a world in 3D and then freeze the game and then play a 2D platformer on your perspective of the 3D world, which was super cool. Oh, I guess maybe you have to ramp over the wall? I mean, I guess that's it. I wonder what happens in this sort of situation if you, uh, if you throw all of the signs out of the, out of the playable space. Uh-oh. Hmm, I wonder, I wonder. Maybe I can just make a pile of junk. A little inelegant crap pile. Ah! Ah! A little physics freak out there. Oh! Got to solve collision somehow. Woo! I'm starting to think this may not be the intended solution, but it works. Staircon? God, I can't. I can't get close to it. I can't crouch. There's no zoom. I don't think. Hold on. I want to read this stuff.
Ja. Oh, that's it. Yeah, I have a, z I have a zero SR slash thighs. Annual conference this week. Look at those stairs. Maybe they're trying to... Maybe that's like a... One of those like planting ideas of like... You should use stairs to get around maybe. Maybe you should use stairs to get around. Ooh. Okay. I just love that thrumming AC. That's so good. Steer con or escalator land? Oh, don't start that, man. We get people. We get we get, pe people on here to get riled up enough. You gotta be. You gotta be inciting drama like that. Come on, man. We can't. How about stairs and escalators? How about they're both fine? You know, isn't it okay to ascend a building however you want? Is it really? <laughs> people really gotta argue about that? What the fuck? See clipping? Nope. That's something. I remember. I remember my head exploded when I took a computer graphics class and learned what Z clipping was. It's one of those effects you see in games, and there are certain graphical glitches that are interestingly common in games, and no one ever talks about them because there's no reason to. Uh, but I, everyone, everyone has to have seen them. And I wonder, I wonder if everyone has names for them in their own minds. Um, but I certainly did. So it was Hello. fun to like have it My described. Name is like, Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk to you about being special. <gasps> it's me. So special, in fact, that we have no <gasps> idea where you are. Oh. But not to worry, we're working on it. Sick. What about elevators? We want our own con, guys. Just because stairs have their own convention doesn't mean you're any less valuable. That looks weird. Those reflections, I guess. Uh-oh. Oh no, two doors. Achievements or something? That is a really nice voice though, I agree. Very pleasant. Okay, well that wasn't... Actually, that big of a of a catastrophe. Huh. Oh hell yeah! Oh, sick. Okay, I wondered if that was gonna happen. <clears throat> Welcome to StairCon, everyone. Uh we've had a really great year. The advent of the TC Concrete 214 stair has just been a hit all around. I want to want to give Carl a little shout out back there. Hey Carl, I'll see you in the bar later. Am I right? Oh, Carl, he's wild. There's like 12 people in the room. <laughs> Man, fucking. Okay, so now you have to start placing things that match the the shape. So I have to have a vase, but that means I have to have a table. To put the vase on. I also have to line maybe this table and vase. Boop. That's cool. Man, that's cool. That's it. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, that's easier. Also, like when you get close to solving it, it does actually kind of smooth your character and your your look into something that matches. So, that's very smart. Um, I've had games like this where like like Okami or something like that. Where it's like, I, ah, I'm drawing the square, just make the square real so I can grab the square. Um, I like that. That's like, that's one of those things that doesn't have to happen in a game, but it's very good if it does. Whoa! Yeah! Oh, it's got, it's got, it's like its own little staircases. Man, stair contact is out of this world! Yeah, okay. So I just gotta... Oh, okay. Okay, it writes itself. That's great. Okay, and you actually have to, like, have it line up with the walls of the hallway so that you can get it to be the right size. Wait, no, I need you bigger. I'm 
jumps are pretty forgiving too. I always like that. It's like when game when a game is at the point where it's clear that you've you've demonstrated what they want you to do, but there's still like a another element that makes it more difficult to uh, to navigate for one reason or another. I guess it's when the uh, the proposed objective and the actual objective differ. What's for dinner? I don't know yet. Well, I'm gonna figure that out. I'm gonna roast some more shrimp, so I'm very much looking forward to that. I still have the cocktail sauce I made last time. Um, and Nutrisystem now, I, uh, I basically ate all this stuff that was frozen to try and open up space in the freezer. Uh, cause we have a kind of a crowded freezer. And a popsicle melted in there, so if I, uh, if I can clean it up... I gotta find something to put in here. But yeah, that... that tape? Hold on. <laughs> huh. Yeah, it's like taped to the wall. Eat a whole shrimp platter for dinner? I would. Icebox. Um, luckily shrimp is, uh, very low in calorie. And uh, amazingly high in protein. And shrimp is really a wonder food. It also they also grow really fast. So farm raised shrimp is like really low environmental impact, especially for the yield of the protein. Man, it's so good. Hello. I've been trying to My eat more like that, Dr. lower on the food chain kind of stuff. And I'm just popping in to give you a quick update on where you are. We still don't know, but please keep but yeah, moving forward. I need to empty out the freezer Hopefully so I can clean up the melted popsicle. Updates to being reminded that you are completely lost. Thank you. Uh, Greenhouse Cap. This is called Super Liminal. It's a puzzle game that just officially released today. There have been some free-to-play, like, uh, demos out that kind of demonstrate the tech. I guess they've been working on it all this time. It's only 20 bucks. It's only 20 bucks. Um, I'm that guy. Bought it on the Epic Game Store, because this feels like the kind of game where I want the people who made it to get as much money as they possibly can. But you do, you do whatever you like. I have no idea how long it is. I feel like, I feel like how long it is and, and, you know, this is an obvious statement, but like the, the craft of the puzzles is going to, to kind of make the big, make this game like lock in or not. It's like making obvious statements like that. Well, if the game's good, it'll be a good game. I should be a games journalist. Games are good when they're good, and they're bad when they're not good. That was interesting. <laughs> ah, well. There's a door up there, but... Interesting, like the... The roofs get flatter and flatter as they go out to this one. Looks, looks like a wave. <sighs> Inside gaming 2? I guess it'd be 3 technically. And then I can like... That'll just be every episode. I'll put Fortnite in the title, but it'll just be me droning about how a good video game is good. Achievement the other way? Oh? Hold on, there's a fire escape to pull here. We already played this Java? Eh. No. I think I can get it from here. Yeah. Hmm. That may be a bit disconnected topic, but it keeps coming back to me. How do you feel about separating art from artists? For example, in the context of Blizzard, I loved most of their games, but the Hong Kong situation was a painful reminder that they are a company who, like many others, choose money from China over human rights, and it's rather bothersome. Hmm. I mean, I, it's, it's, you're just talking about the, the fuzz of, uh, 
of of morality like you have to decide for yourself what's fair and what isn't i don't know that there's a strong consensus on the moral thing or the yeah you just gotta got to make yourself okay with it one way or the other hello i know that that's My not very helpful Glenn pierce and we still can't find you but you should now have access to a series of elevators that should trigger your subconscious to gradually wake you up. You should also find a variety of emergency exit signs that should lead you to them. Will all of this work? Absolutely. Uh, what was the achievement this way? Or were you just speculating? Why is everybody saying radio? Or wait, is this the door I would have? Oh, Chima was in the high door. Oh, okay. I think they'll let me backtrack. It would be a shame if they didn't. Aw, oh, they don't. Wait, they do. Never mind. It looked like there were bars over it. Foomp. That's one thing I also do appreciate about games that I'm I'm not under the, the delusion that it's free. Um, the ability to flow from area to area. I feel like it has to be easier to be able to, like, write write certain like game assets off and be like nope we're slamming a door and unloading this shit yeah eh. there's a chemist in this yeah apparently i've gotten a few i don't know what they do but might as well get them you know you know what i mean you know what i mean <laughs> you know you know what i mean maybe i can jump from the i can't grab it yeah Hmm. Is this the only other object I can interact with? I, I, oh, you're kidding. Okay, wow. Alright. There we go. Aha! curved the new straight man big questions proper flooring support pitch lines for your pitch lines advances in railing design a lot of a lot of breakthroughs in rails this year know your nosing getting stairs for your stairs <laughs> fun biddler thank you for the prime prime sub there or the reason i'm sorry do you have that playlist of vintage game commercials saved anywhere? No, they're not all vintage game commercials, and, and it's not saved anywhere either. It's, it's just local on my hard drive. I, uh... Hmm, why is there a chess piece on it? And apples. Interesting iconography. That has appeared before! Uh... Yeah, I've just edited them all on my hard drive, um, and then they just all play randomly. I have... I have... Yeah, it seems like it's weighted. There are, um, there are some YouTube playlists that uh, have collections of, of video game commercials and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I kind of... For the, for the BRB roles and stuff like that, that's kind of a, a media product that I offer. Uh, as, in, in conjunction with the stream. marketing from the National Stair Association. This marketing is on another level. <laughs> I would go. I want to go to StairCon. Yeah, the audio skills with the object. It's so good. It's like the it like the first thing you do, of course, is you're gonna like make something make something huge. Fuck. That was scary. <laughs> I guess it gets as big as your monitor can be, which is, I, I guess, about this big. <laughs> about yay big. Uh, and you can just boop. So let's see. Uh. Is this game in VR? Uh, I don't. I don't think so. It may be, for all I know. Oops, wrong way. 
What about the other people who have a stake in that product, though? I don't think there's a right answer, really. No one perfect one, at least. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so poor. That's a, that's a good point. Is that... Uh, the decision is not made by one person. Um, it's made by a group of people that work at a company, along with other groups of people that do other things and would have made different decisions. So it gets messy. Um, I do th I do believe that, like, in a society, capitalist society, um, patronage equals power. Not necessarily from your perspective, but from theirs. Like, you... If you want to p punish a corporation, the thing you do is you don't buy their thing. And you can affect social change by using money as a tool. Um, so, it's not... That's just kind of the way of business, really. Is that the, the corporation has all sorts of immunities and rights. And uh, you can choose to spend money or not. Or time. Yeah. I do think that that matters, um, but I also, you know, I don't want to go too far down the vote with your wallet thing because I feel like sometimes people, people just say that and leave it at that, and sometimes it can be used as a, um, as a response to to kind of like try to motivate people to not discuss why they're doing something. I think that discussion can be important too. Awareness of something can be important, even if it makes people uncomfortable. You can grab the moon? Yes, you can. There's a, there's a boom box on the moon. Of course there's a boom box on the moon. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In the event that this elevator does not wake you up, please don't interact with anything that strikes you as psychologically significant, as we will no longer have any way of controlling it. For example, if you see your parents, please punch them in the face as hard as you can and immediately run away. There's that, you can actually see stuff through that door. Do I need to go through that? Ah, uh, maybe. Oh my gosh, alright. It's on the top of a sphere, though. How do I... Yeah. A very large sphere. Maybe I gotta carry it somewhere else? Maybe out to the courtyard? Gosh, I don't- oh wait, no, there's a item door. Is that an item door? Maybe not. That is an item door. Eh, alright, fine. You can rotate? Yeah. You can rotate one direction. They don't let you rotate the other direction. So I think that's like a- that's a way that they do exert some kind of control over how you can position and manipulate objects. Um... Otherwise, it, this game might just be full-on chaotic. <laughs> it doesn't drop, either. It hangs in the air. Um, and I can't... <laughs> Can it not roll? No. Line it up with a wall? Yeah, maybe put it in a painting? <laughs> hmm. Oh crap, I made it too tiny. <laughs> Let me try something here. This. Okay, there we go. Didn't even think about grabbing things off of it. Make yourself smaller? I don't think you can. I can do that, though. Nah. Are there any other games with this mechanic of holding things in different scenes to change their size when you let go? There was one that was kind of like this. But it was more about non-Euclidean spaces, not necessarily perspective changing sizes of objects. Um, and I'm trying to remember the name of it. It's, it looked really cool, but didn't end up being as good as it looked. It's kind of kind of how I remember remember it. Shoot, what was the name of that game? You can get through the windows above too. Man, how? 
Antichamber. That was it. Yes, thank you. Quantum Conundrum is, I would say, it's similar. It's more Portal vibes. Where it, oh, I should... Dang it. Oh, that's weird. Okay, never mind. I thought it was another elevator room. Oh, the French. Maison Champagne. I think that's what that said. Dang it, I wanted to read that. <laughs> French champagne. Echo Chrome was fun, yeah. Any chamber kind of played with this stuff, yeah. But this this already feels like a much kind of more natural implementation of mechanics like this. Yeah, zero ray tracing confirmed. Oh, back here again. Still can't read that thing. Oh, what is non-Euclidean? So, non-Euclidean is like when space wraps around on itself. So like, rounding a corner that leads to a room that couldn't possibly be there because it's in a shape that overlaps with the room you just came from, but then like, you can move back and forth and those spaces are there. It's called a porn game when you grab something and it instantly gets bigger. Yeah, there's no, there's no fluff time for gentlemen in porn, is there? Just bang. Polished, yeah. I wouldn't say that any chamber was not polished. Um, I do think that this game this is an automated message for all patients who attempted to has more of a sensibility about how to guide people to a proper solution therapy. as opposed to tossing them into a, in a, dream a, a puzzle maze. Your decisions imply a failure of orientation. It's easier for sure. Negatively on the standard orientation protocol, you will rectify this failure immediately. <laughs> How would you get out of, uh, how would you get out of the, the, um, the windows in that previous room? You just have to, like, make the moon the right size and climb on up there? Is that just a clock? Oh, no. Yeah. Keep staring. Whoa. That's getting all wobbly. Whoa. I can like see my pulse. It's like fishing around. Uh, there's a fan on. Staircon, yeah. Wait, shit. Is that maybe that's? I wonder if that's the reference they're going for. Also, this music, man. This music is so calming. It it would be hard to get frustrated at any puzzle listening to this. It made everything else I look at look weird. Yeah, it's it's burned into my vision right now. Especially if I blink really fast, I can totally see that pattern in, in like a little sunspotty pattern in the middle of my vision. Oh, I can see it everywhere. It's creepy. But I kind of like it. Yeah, this this is kind of portally. Okay, yeah, big portal vibes, really. There's got to be something up there. Am I behind? What is this? I see a water cooler. And uh, half of a cube. I didn't even notice that it was cut in half. Alright, I guess you can stair step it then. That's just, yeah, There's that's not a window. There's just clouds painted up there. Oh, no. Shucks. There we go. <laughs> I got to admit, I was like, was this one going to, like, explode? That was way better. That was way better. That's that's a really good like setup in misdirect. Um, bravo, big big bravo there. This um, you know what? It, it wasn't it wasn't necessarily the best movie, but 
This does kind of remind me of the movie Toys, the Robin Williams movie. Some of the shots in that definitely played with perspective and had like a, a, a sort of like toy-like atmosphere. Well, toy-like atmosphere. Everything was like very saturated and plastic. This is very pastel, but it's that idea of being like enclosed in a space that seems bigger, but is actually very small. There were a lot of like, a lot of like enclosed rooms that that, that movie shot in that had big open like walls and colors, but was still very small. I don't know. It's, it's d difficult to describe, but it was a neat movie, but not a good movie. It's kind of how I think about it. It's a trip. You guys should check it out if you're ever, uh, I guess, in the dry vapes. To uh, to coin to reference something earlier in the stream. You need to put that music video from Toys in the Media Tech playlist. Maybe I don't. I don't. I've tried to stay away from out and out like copywritten stuff, obviously copywritten stuff, but you know I fudge that sometimes. So maybe it's a good opportunity for that. It's a gold chess piece. I guess I could put it out there. Saw that TDU3 was announced. What's TDU? Test Drive Unlimited? Professional tip. The average adult can only withstand three to five dreams per night. Once this threshold is eclipsed by entering more dreams, your mind will suffer an explosive mental overload, reorienting you for the emergency exit protocol. Please subject yourself to explosive mental overload. Oh, it's actually test drive? Who's making it? I haven't I've never played a test drive unlimited game. Cool. Make big soda. There, big soda. Big soda. Is that GLaDOS from Portal? Basically, yeah. Why are these dice weird? Why are you guys weird? This is definitely some Alice in Wonderland shit going on. That's interesting that the light goes through the door. I feel like I'm gonna need to know that. Maybe that's why they did it that way. Ah, uh, they got me. All that paint. Like they just did it. Like dudes just wrapped and sprinted out of here right before I got in here. Unlimited is basically the crew before the crew. Oh, really? Huh. I did not know about that. Huh. Well, that sounds like a cool game. Okay, well, I can't... Can't say that I was expecting that. Huh. Okay, sliding blocks. Dice penis. Well, they did it. Chat found a way to make Superliminal a horny game. I think I'm impressed. Please note that a reluctance to volunteer for the risks associated with explosive mental overload implies a misunderstanding of all other solutions, all of which are far more traumatic and likelier to result in catastrophe. I am not capable of suboptimal suggestions. Please exit this dream as soon as possible. Net code for Test Drive Unlimited was amazing for early Xbox 360 era. Yeah? It's the weird thing, like racing games... Racing games can have great net code because the volatility of what you're going to do is extremely low. Um, like in a first-person shooter, you can, you can go anywhere, you can jump, you can duck, you can shoot. 
And with some degree of predictability, you can predict what a player is going to do to make the gaps between the actual data reception not that predictable. But man, in a racing game, guess what the car is going to do? Go straight. Or maybe a little bit to one side or the other. Maybe. And you also know when a collision's coming before it happens, so you can like predict with netcode and stuff. Um, it's crazy how like racing games are so perfect for video games because they don't have like you can focus all of your technical rendering on things other than your like main actor, which is the car. Cars are actually easy to render because they're not people. <laughs> hey, that's cute. I'm impressed that they they keep they keep finding little quirks to throw at you. This is not easy. Like every little every little thing required a good idea and good execution. Oh no. Oh man, really? I'm playing Gran Turismo 4 on a third party net service and it worked really well. Uh oh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Ah. Just pull that. Is that why games like Forza always look the best? Yeah, pretty much. Racing games and like, like anti-grav racers, like uh, what was it? Wipeout was able to do 1080p 60 on PS3, but, and and that's impressive and awesome. But it's like, it's a it's a, like a polygonal boxy car going around a track. There's a lot of stuff you don't have to render when you're not. You're not, uh, not worried about playing The Last of Us. What the fuck? Jesus. It's a pretty sick loading screen. Yeah, I'm still waiting for Pacer 2. Uh, I thought it was gonna come out soon. They seemed to, they seemed to say that they were, like, on the edge of a publishing agreement then, but it, I guess, didn't, didn't work out. Gran Turismo 7 is going to be insane. I hope so. I hope it comes out. Ever. I don't know. Sometimes it feels like, uh... It feels like... Polyphony can't really... Polyphony seems to struggle to ship sometimes. Maybe, maybe just with the last game, but it did seem like a struggle. F-Zero FX win. Man, I wish. Hello. Get the Dream Team back together, man. And this a sequel to GX, I think, is probably the one game that I've realized I really want. Completed, but I'm getting everything else. Experiencing feelings of worthlessness I'm getting cyberpunk, so I can't complain. Why do I feel like everything is going wrong, even when the sun is shining? <sighs> Remember the GT, GT6 got a demo four years before the actual game came out? Yeah, prologue? Is that what you're referring to? Baking soda. Delicious can of baking soda. Polyphony putting in a game till 2024. Yeah, that sounds about right. Woo! This is getting spooky. I want to see what's in at the end of this hallway now. Oh! But just so you guys know, I won't be streaming for too much longer. Both Jacob and John are on right now, so... Plenty of good boys to rate up. Notice. Emergency generator this way. Oh, man. Come on. Spooky hallway. You know I gotta walk down this spooky hallway. Can't put a spooky hallway in a game and ask me to not walk down it. So I'm gonna march on down that spooky hallway. Oh. This is sh kind of Shades of Layers of Fear. Man, I love those those games. Layers of Fear 2 was so good. Never felt more like I was moving through a dream than playing that game. Maybe something like Journey or Abzu, you know, like Flower. Pretty indie games that are about cancer or something. <laughs> but uh, Layers of Fear was great. Ooh. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, okay. That's interesting. They give you a light so you can look around. You're like, what the heck? What the heckity heck? 
<laughs> Monday, murder. Tuesday, murder. Wednesday, murder. Thursday, murder. Friday, murder. Saturday, murder. And Sunday is for beans. Can't wait for Sunday. That's bean day. <laughs> I remember the diet soda, so it says die. It's just diet soda. It's not scare. Oh! <gasps> oh! <laughs> this, it's like horror parody. This is crazy. It's gotta be paint, right? Oh! Big scary. Can't handle this big scary. Maybe I should just jump in. I feel like that's what I'm supposed to do. Oh, wait, there was like a bridge there. Oh, okay. Penitent Mammal Pass. Okay, cool, cool, cool. This reminds me of, uh, what was it? Unfinished Swan? Man. That, that's what Sony art used to look like. Now we get Last of Us Part 2. Bleh. It does kind of feel like, to a, to a degree, Sony used to get all their artiness out and they're in, they're like... Hello. Side indie projects. It's Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk more about the feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt I mentioned before. You Wait feel on me, Glenn. this way because you want the kind of happy life you see all around you. The kind you know everyone else is enjoying. And that's exactly why we're here to help. Hmm. That's EA these days? What, making making all the arty games? Uh, they make it. They make a grip. Maybe like one a year. I feel like. So scary. What? Oh, it's not scary. Yeah. So far, this is this is not really tracked with the uh, the perspective mechanic, but like it's it's these instead of the item doors because you don't really need items. Oh no! You're gonna make me walk into the darkness. I feel like that's kind of cool, though. You have to, like, use shadow to see props to tell you where to go. Oh. Warning. You were advised to subject yourself to explosive mental overload by descending into additional dreams, but have now descended into a dream within a dream instead, disorienting yourself even further. You are responsible for failing to make this crucial distinction. <laughs> Damn it, I knew it. It would be my fault. It's weird that they don't let me pop these off. Huh. All right, well, I'm probably going to be playing all night if I kept it up. Maybe I should. Why wouldn't I? Anyway, yeah, that'll do for tonight, I think. Oh, speed run of this game would be cool. Yeah, that'd be fun. You get to see the whole thing in like a compressed frame of time. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Good stream day. Got a good workout in. Played some titty games. <sighs> the dream is real. All right, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Thanks again for all the subs, for all the raids. I appreciate that. Oh, man. Captain Jack. I listened to Captain Jack unprompted the other night. Oh, wait, no, it was July 4th, so I felt like I had to listen to... had to put one up for my guy. And the, I think... No, I should have poured one out for him. Ah, last. All right, well, thank you for watching. I'll be back here tomorrow with the podcast, and we watch Wednesday. Um, I'd like to have you back for that. But if not, have a great night. See you later.